What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of pouring. I decided to move my pouring uh, station inside, but you'll see later that I did end up having a problem. I purchased a mold from uh, Silver Mold Maker. Uh, it's also always nice to work in, buy within the community. And I was practicing on my pours, but I just kept having problems. So I ended up not getting very many good pours. I actually only got two. And you can see that the way I'm pouring, I'm constantly overflowing or I'm pouring slow, too slow. If you remember in my last pour video, I was doing it outside and the problem I was having was the cooling was happening too fast. So I decided to move it in. Uh, obviously I have a little bit of a few things I need to change. It's not the smartest thing to put wood down when you're pouring something that actually sets wood on fire. But as you can see, I've gone through already quite a few pours already and each time I've had to restart and retry and, uh, and redo it because my technique, it just is not happening. What's ending up happening is the it's cooling too fast so i decided to try to use a torch i'm gonna go back to the basics and just try to do some basic bars before i try to get fancy so those of you that are watching this that think that pouring is easy it does take time to develop the skill now me personally i don't have a lot of time i don't have a lot of the right space so i'm documenting every little step and this is literally the third time i've poured silver and i'm already trying to pour into a rather, uh, how do you say, shallow mold, and uh, not in the best circumstances. But that's not an excuse, it's just the way it is. Um, I'll adapt to it as I get better to this. And as you can see, I'm trying to develop my technique. I almost had it on that one, and I, I just didn't work, and there goes a fire, just like last time. Note to self, as I watch the tape, do not put wood underneath stone and expose, leave wood exposed. So as you can see, I'm still trying to get an idea of flow control. I realize that the most of the problems I'm having is just the fact that I'm not pouring often enough. I don't get enough practice. I don't have the control that some of the other guys, the better pourers do. And where I really watch and I study. But now that I'm doing this recording and I can see a little bit more of what I need to do and uh, kind of change things up a little bit, I realized going through this process and also talking to Silver Mold Maker, so shout out to him for both providing the mold and also some advice that ultimately the problem I'm having is that my mold is too cold and it's solidifying too fast and just kind of rolling off the top. The other problem is I'm just not controlling the molten silver well enough to get a steady stream. It's just too much on and off, so that's also another area that I need to work on. So the next time I try to pour, I'm going to make a couple of changes. The first one is I'm going to heat up the mold a little bit more using a hot plate. That was a suggestion by hi -Ho Silver, and I've seen it in other places in other videos around YouTube, so I'm going to try it out. One other obvious problem is that I'm using a crucible that's too big. This is the 2 kilo or 100 ounce crucible, and my flow control isn't as good with deeper molds. After a while, I eventually got frustrated and decided to go back to just regular bars just to try to get back to the basics because honestly, I, I just tried to get too far because I was excited I got the molds in, but I didn't practice my way up with just the regular bars. And, you know, there's some people that can do that. I, I'm a little shaky, so that's just me. So I made only a few bars in this run just to get the practice down and then go back and try the other mold again at the end once I've gotten some practice with the flow control specifically and you can see that the stream is much better in this mold than it is in the other mold and I'm not exactly sure why once I felt comfortable with the basic molds then I went back to the silver mold maker mold that I had custom done and tried to do it from there and the results were much better so ultimately I think I just need to practice a little bit more and change a few things that I'm doing in terms of updating my technique and it'll be right there. This next pour was my final pour and it just so happened that it all came out and worked out just right. So thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Give the video a thumbs up and make a comment if you like. Thanks for watching.